Here's Kenseth. He's holding this thing wide open as he went sailing by the outside of the 11 car in turns three and four. And Matt Kenseth will take the lead. This is typical Matt Kenseth style. He rides around most of the race, looks at his watch, and finally says, okay, it's time to go. He's good at these races. Oh, spin off at turn four. Trouble, the 20 car, 38 of all. Harvey gets through. Off turn two, a spin was. See the 25 car of Casey Mears involved. Oh, man. Uh, right there. I don't know if it was all the turbulent air going on there or what. Jeff Gordon able to get through that. Jimmy Johnson was not around that mess. And that could have been disastrous when it comes to uh, the point standings. There's a 38 of Gillen. Six car, David Reagan. This melee happened off a of turn two. Everybody stacking up, getting sideways. Take a look at this. Looks like the 25 car, Casey Mears, bumped in the back of the 88 of Ricky Rudd, shot up the track, got loose and spun. And they all started taking evasive action. Dale Jarrett. Wow, look at the Ooh, hard impact. He's in it. 29 car, Harvick able to get in the back of the 38 and get by. There's Mears involved. Reagan, heavy hard, heavy hit for... David Reagan, the rookie contender. 66 involved as well. Mayfield. Looks like Casey Mears just came up behind the 88 car and was trying to look for a hole or a way to go and maybe just got a little bit loose. Wow. There's the contact. Mears and Stewart right in front of 38. Got nowhere to go. Harvick into the back of the 38. Wow, how did Kevin Harvick, he was right behind the 38 and splits Stewart and Gillen. Guys, that was incredible with the 29 car. Kevin Harvick just said he was in solid smoke. Let's take a look at this again. Got one spin in front look of at that. Go high, go high. Well, we already gave him the good on, hands move. I guess we need to give it to him again. Right, good job, we got some fender, I think. We'll give him the two, get two hands move on that one. Great effort by Kevin Harvick. Mike. And, and the 29 now in, they're taking a good look at all the sheet metal all the way around that race car, seeing if there's any damage. It's hard to tell if there is any right now, but the team taking its time just examining that car, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. Let's go to Alan. Well, with the number of cars that were on the lead lap and where he was running, Jeff Gordon's team calling him onto pit road here. They had wanted to take a rubber out of the right rear last stop, didn't want to take the time with everybody pitting at once. But where they were had nothing to lose by giving up a couple of spots here to bring him in, especially with all those cars that were in the spin behind him. The other thing this does is they told the fuel crew to put all the fuel in the car they can. They can go from here to the finish on one more stop. And that could bring that whole economy thing into play a little bit, Mike. And the work continues on the 29 car, Alan. As you mentioned, they are just taking their time, making sure there's nothing wrong. They were awfully close to the collision there as he rolls down pit road right now. And away, they couldn't find anything too much wrong with that. They didn't really do any repairs on the, uh, on the fenders or on the quarter panels. It looks pretty clean as they made their last stop. Tony Stewart in getting some uh, patchwork done on the back of his car. He was involved. Uh, again, the 25 of Mears involved, Stewart involved, David Reagan, Kevin Harvick, David Gillen, and Dale Jarrett. Those are the six cars involved, bringing out caution number nine here on lap 221. Here's the contact up in the corner. Mears, Stewart, Reagan, Dale Jarrett, and Gillen involved. Under caution, you're watching ESPN on ABC.